Learning to fight will not only be the best thing you do, but it'll impact your life like you could never imagine. Martial arts changed my life. It also took me on a journey around Asia over the last six months. A little bit more on that later, as well as my top three martial arts. So let's go back to 2004 when my journey began. I went to university, I was living my best life. I was on one of the craziest nights you could ever think of. The night came to an end and I decided to go back to a friend's place. I went there, I saw a few unfamiliar faces. A few words were exchanged and I was jumped by two people. Yes, six foot three of me got jumped and taken down. This changed my world. From a guy who built his confidence up over the last three years, it was shattered in five minutes. My life had changed. Now I never thought I'd be in this type of situation, but here I was. Big or small, if you've been jumped or bullied, you'll know it's not a great situation to be in. But I'm glad I did go through that. At the time, I couldn't see it. My whole world was shattered. I lost all my confidence. That experience took me to a really dark place. So I had two choices. Either hide away for the rest of my life, fear of getting jumped again, or find a solution. That's where martial arts came into my life and changed my whole world. That's one of the reasons why I ended up in the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam over the last six months. I thought martial arts was all about punching, scrapping, kicking, fighting, just learning how to deal with a situation. But it actually goes deeper than that. You learn how to deal with your fears. Now, the first time you go to a martial arts club, you'll be anxious, nervous, worried, thinking, what are they gonna do to me? What are they gonna say to me? The first time you walk into a club, everyone will turn and look at you. You'll think, what the hell have I come to? Why is everyone looking at me? That's normal for a martial arts club. First time you train with someone, they'll probably be more experienced than you and they will take you back to school. It can be quite humbling, but an education. You can see what you could potentially achieve in the next coming months. And as time goes on, you'll become better and you'll be looking at the next person walking through the doors. Just remember what you went through and try teaching them as much as you can. Martial arts not only helped rebuild my confidence and my self-esteem, it made me a better person. And if I haven't convinced you yet why you should do martial arts, there's a practical aspect and a fitness aspect from it. The practical aspect is you don't know which nut is gonna come up in the street. You don't know when someone's gonna just turn around and try attacking you. And you'd rather know something than nothing. As Joe Rogan says, you'd rather be a warrior on the farm than a farmer on a battlefield. And let's talk about the fitness aspect. Research has shown 12 weeks of regular exercise can cure depression. If you've tried every drug out there, you're still feeling sad, you're still feeling down, give martial arts a go and see how it changes your life over the coming weeks. Forget 12 weeks, within the first four to six weeks, you'll feel a different person. Before I tell you my top three martial arts, I wanna tell you one thing. The club and the street are totally different. You need to be aware of this. So if you have any opportunity to walk away, walk away, but when you can't, be ready to fight and be ready to give it your all. When I looked to train martial arts, I looked at three things. Can it be applied in the street? Is it realistic? Is there a club near me? After this, I found a Japanese jiu-jitsu club and this was a discovery of my life. It has throws, punches, locks, kicks, even weapon defense. It has everything that you need. Japanese jiu-jitsu is my number one martial arts and it's the one that I'd recommend everyone to learn. Now there's a difference between Japanese jiu-jitsu and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Japanese jiu-jitsu is all about the street, it's about standing, it's about going toe to toe. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is all on the floor. Now we always see these Brazilian jiu-jitsu guys restraining guys on the street. Now that may look like a superhero story, but all it takes is one person to come along and kick them in the head. That goes from a superhero story to a very sad story. The last place you wanna be is on the floor in a street fight. It could take any stranger or any random person to come over and kick you in the head while you're restraining them. Your hands are all tied up. You can't protect the most vital part of your body and that's your head. That's why I'm not a fan of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If you wanna do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for strength and fitness, that's okay. But if you're looking for a practical street martial arts, Japanese Jiu Jitsu is the one to go and is the only one I recommend and is my number one. Now, if you don't like the thought of throwing people around, choking people, you wanna keep your distance, you know you've got a good punch behind you, I would consider Muay Thai or boxing. 
These are my two favorite striking combat sports out there. Now, if you can box, you will get out of 99% of situations. Boxing and Muay Thai, very similar. The only difference with Muay Thai is you've got the elbows and the knees. They can be very helpful in a street situation. Knowing how to box will be so helpful for life, for your fitness, for street situations, and it will definitely improve your confidence. Now, let's talk about Screamer, Dulce Paris, Filipino martial arts. I absolutely love this martial arts. It's so technical, but so easy to learn. It's all about weapons. Maybe you're at an age where you can't throw people. Maybe you're at an age where you can't punch people. This is probably one of the best martial arts you can learn. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're older, this is only for you. Even if you're young, you can learn this martial arts. It has a little bit of empty hands, but it's mainly about weapons and knife defense. If you're in an area where there's a lot of knife crime, or you're worried about getting attacked by a weapon, this is the martial arts to learn. It is practical, easy to learn, and very applicable. Luckily, I was in the Philippines. I got to train with some grandmasters. I learned some great techniques. You gotta remember one thing. When you're faced with a knife, you have a chance of getting cut. Don't matter how much knife training you've done, when someone wants to stab you, they will try the hardest to cut you. So it don't mean that you've done knife training that you don't walk away. Walk away when you get the chance, but if you're stuck in a corner, it's always good to have some skills behind you. I love this martial arts so much, I'll be going back to Asia in a few months and hopefully we can train together. Now I ain't the best fighter, but learning martial arts has definitely improved my confidence, my self-esteem and made me a better person. Also, there's a little bit of excitement, a good feeling when you've got to face your fears. Some people say, why would you pay someone to beat you up? Well, I say this is one beating that will help you throughout life. So if you want to practice some martial arts from home, you might want to check this video out.